Alright, so I'm going to do a real quick video right now. It's more of a PSA because I don't think a lot of people understand that the Equinox isn't the same for the entire Earth. It depends on your latitude. So, for me, today's the Equinox. Today's 16th of March. The actual mainstream Equinox day is supposedly the 20th, but that's the date on the equator that the length of the day and night are the same. Where I'm at is 30, latitude 37. Today is the day that night and day are equal. It's interesting that they put out that the day of the equinox is the same for everywhere on Earth, but it, I mean, it's, it's impossible how, how that couldn't be. So I got, if you, if you deal with any solar at all, like I put on this house over here, um, there's a lot of installation software out there and you can dial in your specific location to determine your length of day and night for a given date so that you can put your solar panels in the right place and other things too but the main thing is um, you, you really know the location of the sun it's specific so you just go through there and you pick out the day that you know the hours and the days are the same and today the uh, hour is 12 hours zero minutes and two seconds according to my exact longitude and latitude I actually went to the equator and found a couple of places where I could uh, just put that app and determine exactly what day it would be on the equator and it turned out to be the 20th, but interestingly enough, on the 20th, no matter where you're at, on the ocean, Quito, Ecuador, which is mountainous, oddly enough, the length of time isn't 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. It's, it's about seven minutes. So it's plus seven minutes. So you can't, the closest that I saw that you could get before it changed, you know, before it swapped hemispheres was about 12 hours, 7 minutes, or 12 hours, 60, 12 hours and 6 minutes and 59 seconds, and then it began to go up. You know, it increased and it decreased, but it never went down to 12 hours. It went to, um, like I said, 7 minutes. Um, what's the closest I can find? So maybe that's the bold... Maybe the fact that the Earth is uh, 26 miles wider at the um, equator than it is, you know, north to south, maybe that increases the amount of daylight. I've never even heard that before, but if anybody knows, uh, just let me know in the comments because I thought that was pretty interesting too, and um, that was pretty interesting. That was an eye opener for me, and uh, it's. It's kind of weird when you think about it. I actually read some info. I read a few things about the uh, equinox itself and a few articles. It said that the equinox, depending on where you're at, might be nine minutes longer where you're at or nine minutes shorter depending on where you're at. Like, no, that wouldn't be an equinox. That would definitely uh, not fit the definition of an equinox. <laughs> but they... They put stuff like that out there for some reason. Anyway, I thought I'd do this real quick video that turned into an eight minute video.